Howdy, how are you doing? So, before you even receive this reading, you need to leave that anxiety at the door. Depression? Don't know her. When it comes to receiving a reading during this time frame, you're just vibing out with me. We're just hanging out, so. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Pisces, how are you doing? My name is Simply Falca and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading this week. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly tarot reading Pisces, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments Pisces. Uh, as well, if you find some cards that resonate with you in this reading, Pisces, I would really appreciate it for you to leave a like and subscribe when it comes to this video, uh, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot, Pisces, and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way, Pisces. Uh, as well, before we get into this reading, Pisces, I just want to say that when it comes to my tarot cards, tarot readings, uh, I'm not here to make a decision in your life because I believe it's your life to live, not mine, not the tarot cards. I believe when it comes to my weekly readings, at least, Pisces, that they're just here to give you some food for thought, some perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week, uh, but that's all. So, with all that being said, Pisces, let's just get into your weekly reading, starting out with your objective card for this week. And you guys have the Knave of Cups coming in for you guys. So with this Knave of Cups coming in here, this is a really powerful sign of new beginnings. Straight up, Pisces. Uh, because Knave of uh, Cups is Page of Cups, so this, just so you can look it up for reference if you don't believe me, Pisces. Um, so when you have Page of Cups, not only does this talk about welcoming in new energies, new people, uh, or opportunities, right? The Page of Cups also represents, or Knave of Cups in this case, can also represent the deepening of things. Um, whether this is the deepening of a connection with a person, or whether it's the deepening of a current opportunity that's currently going on in your life. It's one of those um, situations, Pisces, where it's just like, you're not sure how it can get better, but it just continues getting better in some way each week so it's a re i'm like even in this like as i'm doing i know i'm like always smiling in my videos but like you would be reading this message similar to how like sometimes pisces and i'm sure not a lot of you guys are aware of it but like i'll have it and whenever i have super serious or super uh meaningful things happen uh, I always will get teary-eyed. This always happens since I was a little kid, is I will get teary-eyed. And so kind of like the same, like, I don't, I guess it's like psychic muscle or reflex or whatever, Pisces. Not that anyone cares. Um, me connecting to this energy, I just started really smiling really big. And even just every time I'm acknowledging this, I feel, I can't help, it's super weird. And I know it's, it's just whatever, right? Take it, take this message as you will. But it's just like, I can't help but feel like I am like, like some of your guides, some of your ancestors, Pisces, someone is smiling really big for you. It's kind of like this energy of where it's like, uh, you know, Pisces, when you have, when you get a gift for someone and it's just like a really good gift girl and you can't wait to give it to them. You can't wait to see their reaction. You can't wait to see the smile on their face, the lights uh, in their eyes lighting up, right? This is very much so this energy. Really, someone has something big planned for you. Um, now I'm speaking about this all in like a spiritual sense, Pisces, but maybe someone in your life, in your current close space has something, a big surprise for you coming up, um, as well. So really exciting right off the bat. I actually want to pull some clarifiers on this as well. Pisces, um, the cards already just kind of done. <laughs> That's why I'm like paused here because I was like, okay, um, so let's look at your clarifiers now for your name of cup spices so we have the world card coming in here for you we have the judgment card coming in for you as well as the eight of swords so definitely uh it feels like you're going to feel a lot less restricted here really soon pisces and that's when um you're gonna start being able to start taking action kind of feels like this for some of you Pisces it's maybe for some of y'all y'all have been waiting for one specific thing to pan out one specific detail like maybe just waiting for this one thing right and then that's when like for some of you Pisces you maybe let's just say like you're just like man if I just had um 
insert X here, right? Then you would just take it and run with it, right? Then you'd really go the mile with it. You just needed to be given that chance, right? It seems to be Pisces, you're being given this chance by somebody. Um, you're giving the, you're getting the chance to break the cycle. You're getting the chance to break out of something. Eight of uh, swords, getting breaking out of an environment, taking yourself out, taking yourself out of those limitations, breaking cycles, right? A lot of just breaking old things. Judgment call. Now the judgment call just comes in as like karma coming in as well. So it's with the breaking of the cycle is, dare I say, Pisces, very specific message again, um, Pisces, but I can't help but feel like some of you guys are just kind of like uh, shifting into like a lesson finally completing and then reaping the benefits from it. So the only way I can kind of give like an, a, an example of this to give them justice to the message of these cards, Pisces, is kind of like uh, you putting stock in something for a long time now. You just had a lot of money, like you had a lot of, uh, I'm sure there's like an a per actual term for it when stocks were not educated at all in it. Like you had like this $5,000 in stocks that you couldn't really do anything with, right? And then something re coming to you, Pisces, that stock going up, for example, and then with that stock going up, it gives you that financial freedom to really break out of this cycle and, you know, like then start like a business or something like this, right? It really just starts unlocking a new phase in your life, right? I kind of just see like transition and phases uh, for some of you Pisces. And so I'm really excited to see how this reading pans out for y'all because this is right, I mean, right off the bat, Pisces, with that being your objective card, it's such a energy of like really huge things popping up for you guys. And I know it's such a common theme when it comes to tarot readings, Pisces, to have such big words and what have you. But I see this being such a powerful thing um, for y'all, Pisces, truly. Uh, so let's continue on with your tarot message. We have the Six of Pentacles with the Five of Wands here that want to come out. Now, for this Five of Wands, this is usually the card of conflict, but because for this one, I feel like this is now more so because more so of an inverted message in the sense that, uh, things come healing, right? Uh, again, kind of like the result. I really feel like I'm hearing results a lot and like the examples I keep on wanting to use are like the results of things, Pisces. So definitely I feel like you're going to be getting the results of like some type of investment that you made, the result and like your hard work. Result and you're just getting you're going to start getting results, right? And Six of Pentacles uh complements this as well entirely because this you know it's like tit for tat, right? You're finally going to be getting that payout. Is something that you've been investing a lot of energy into. Uh, so let's look at the clarifiers for this, uh, Pisces. Let's see what cards we have for this. Mm. All right. So the clarifiers that we have for your Five of Wands as well as your Six of Pentacles here, Pisces, is the Star card. We have as well the Nine of Cups coming in for you. And then we have the Four of Cups coming in for you. Now, Pisces, I know you saw these both in inverted, but because this is intuitive reading, right? I don't usually bother filling in with the unnecessary details of which one's inverted and which one's not, just because again, intuitive messages and you know it's all it's always different for each deck. So I always feel like it's pointless for me to fill you in with that extra white noise that won't bear any message for how you receive the reading. Unlike the five of wands, which is very much so usually known as the conflict card, at least in my reading. Um, so in this dynamic here with these clarifiers, the star card is that wish fulfillment card, Pisces. This is that card of, um, you know, and take note as well in the artwork of this card, the cups being balanced out representing emotions. I really do feel like this wish fulfillment really unlocks something in you, um, unlocks like this next phase in your life, Pisces, that then just releases this weight off of your shoulders that takes away that conflict, that inner conflict that was ha that you're having. Uh, Nine of Cups with this Four of Cups, this is definitely something of a, more of a personal endeavor, something that brings forth more personal fulfillment, whatever is coming towards you, than um, really involving other people 
it is something that I'm getting Pisces. I don't feel like this is not, basically what I'm trying to get at is I don't necessarily feel like this is really in regards to speaking about a person. I don't feel like this thing comes in in the shape of a person. I kind of just feel like this is the result of uh, of a project, the result of like a harvest or what have you. Not 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 really honing in on um, other party members being involved in this. Uh, continuing on with this message though, we have the Seven of Wands, so let's see what's going on here. With the Seven of Wands as well, Pisces, um, I kind of want to point out with this message that this is kind of a... Uh, more so honing in on the similar message on it being with yourself, but I can't help but feel like through something coming out, Right through like some, you kind of breaking out of this eight of swords in your environment. I can't help but feel like you're putting some distance between you and something that's in your current space um, that you kind of feel like is kind of has you on guard, kind of has your senses up, right? You're not sure how to feel about it. So the clarifiers that we have for your seven of wands, Pisces, is the knight of wands as well as the page of swords. And then the Hierophant card coming in here. So really affirming in the message where it's just with yourself. Um, Page of Swords, Knight of Wands, definitely confirming to me you're going into um, <sighs> I have new communication. So I can't help but feel like it's kind of like setting a match to like, you know, um, continuing, on, continuing on with the random storyline just to relay the messages, right? Um, let's say like those stocks, right? Then from you being able to have enough money to move out, you move out of like your old toxic family or the, this toxic relationship that you're in that you feel like you can't get out of because of financial things, right? It kind of just feels like you are getting a lot more space to grow, more wiggle room with things. And I really do see you um, just putting distance between you and this something old. Hierophant card comes in as like another card of like committed energies as well, uh, higher committed energy. So this could be in the sign of contracts, right? So let's see, actually, I wanna pull a couple more cards. The world card coming in with the two of pentacles. Yeah, you're, it's like you're finally stepping out of something. It's, you know, you're moving out from like your family, um, moving, you're changing, it's through you changing your environment, you're changing, like, you're not wanting to bring anything old from your old life with you, right? You're, it seems like you're kind of checked out and just done with all this old energy to begin with, right? Uh, Libra actually kind of had a similar reading in the sense where it's like, I kind of want to tell y'all the same message, Pisces, or where it's just like, pack your bags, Pisces, because something really beautiful is coming. Like, it seems like you're, you, you know, I told pa I told Libra to pi pack their bags, uh, Pisces, but you guys kind of seem like you already had your bags packed and you were just waiting for the taxi to get here. Um, so I'm happy for you in that because it seems definitely to be something that you've wanted for quite a while. And the Emperor card coming in now. So let's look at this Emperor, these Emperor messages of why this is here in the first place. With this Emperor, usually this is a card of proactivity as well, right? So usually, as I was saying, like Libra, I had to tell them to pack their bags. You, you already had your bags packed. You already have like this game plan ready um, for you, right? It's almost like you already had, like, before even the money came in, you already figured out where each amount was going to go into what, right? And it's like the moment you had the money, the moment you already invested it out, the moment you already, like, laid down, like, the lease for your new place. It's just very much so, like, planned out for you, uh, Pisces. And so with what I'm getting with this, this is more kind of something that um, you would kind of anticipate, right? This is not really something that's, like... Uh, money there's stuff coming in blessings coming in out of nowhere right it's not necessarily like going and buying a lottery ticket right and then you kind of randomly finding out you won millions of dollars it's kind of like you getting like that millions if you were to get millions hypothetically getting that millions from like a stock investment that you already put money in right i really do feel like you're already invested in this situation that pans out finally for you because with the strength card coming in here this is where you've been panning it out that you've been um 
I mean, Pisces, this is you. This is you kind of just waiting it out. This is you like going, writing out the lows and the highs when it came to the stock, the situation, right? You've already, you put your blood, sweat, and tears into the situation. Ace of Wands, Three of Wands, as the other clarifiers for this Emperor card. Yeah, you kind of have this planned out. Whatever this is, the, if you essentially, right, if this is all about stock for you, Pisces, really anticipate like your stock coming up, right? This is really something that, um, something that you probably already had like a gut instinct on, which makes sense when you had that uh, Hierophant card coming in as well. You really are in touch with your higher self, Pisces. Uh, so truly, I feel like this reading more so is coming off as a sense of just as an affirming message, really more so than telling, preparing you guys for anything, uh, Pisces, because I don't feel like I'm preparing y'all for anything. I feel like more so that I'm just like, uh, letting y'all know that it was good that you packed your bags in the first place, uh, Pisces. So I really like to see this. So now let's get into your, let me finish shuffling this. Let's get into your magician card now, Pisces. Let's see what's going on here. You know, what deck do we want to use though? We're gonna use this deck. So with this magician card, this is like, again, a card of, um, you being being in the driver's seat, being the master of your reality, right? So, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Five of Cups. So your happiness, your creation, confirming to what I was saying before, is through leaving something entirely, Pisces. Uh, this magician, this is what you've wanted. So for a lot of people, they would kind of see this and be like, oh, like, I'm not really trying to have any change in my environment. You wanted this change. You've been wanting to get out for quite a while, dare I say, Pisces. You haven't been happy in this situation for quite some time. And it's through you finally putting distance, right? Um, finally putting a closing chapter to the storyline here. That's when you get your ultimate happiness, right? King of Cups, Queen of Cups, right? Can you even really write a better story than this? Um, I feel like your happiness, the next phase of your life is like associated with completely shifting from your current environment uh so pisces really just look forward to that what i would really say uh actually let's get some advice before we close out this reading for you pisces what is the advice that we can have for pisces because i see this is all kind of like ramping up for pisces but what is it that pisces can do in this current state to help them out in their current situation now until it happens set these cards up for y'all so the clarifiers that we have is the temperance card patience we have the ace of pentacles ten of wands three of cups star card uh definitely pisces i mean right off the bat when you see the temperance card this is the patience card as i was saying before um Really, the best thing you can do, close off loose ends that you have with people in your current space. Close off anything that's tying you down, that could slow you down. Pay off your debts right now. Clean up your space. You know, if you if you packed your bags, look through your bags. See if there's anything that you can get rid of, Pisces, to lighten your load, right? You want to make traveling as easy as possible. You want to make transitions as easy as possible for you. You really don't want to deal have to, like tie up loose ends after the fact because once the star and ace of pentacles moment happens for you right you're not going to really have time for anything else so really the best thing that you can do right now during this time is to um yeah just tie up loose ends pisces tie up loose ends and um just make sure that once this essentially once your uh, hypothetical uber shows up to take you out of this current space to take you out of the eight of source energy um you just want to be completely ready to just run out that door without having to have any distractions without having to worry about being like oh like i have to do i have to catch up on this i still have to like whatever 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 right you're just taking care of any outside potential stressors and just continually setting yourself up for the big moment right so let's also pull some moon oracle cards for you guys pisces just because i feel drawn to pull three for y'all, I don't think I did that for any of the other, and actually I know I didn't do it for any of the other water signs, so don't tell them, Pisces, y'all are getting special treatment. Let's see here, so the three moon oracle cards that you guys have, you guys have the new moon in Taurus, prosperity lies ahead, 
The answers you need are coming, full moon in Gemini, Pisces, and then new moon in Aquarius, bring love into the situation. I mean, Pisces, do we, can we get a better love story, or love story, can we get a better situation than this? This is already promising to me what was to come, right? What uh, This is why we've been saying, this is what we've been knowing, right? And then bringing love into the situation. This is, again, I feel like you guys need to have some closure. Tie up loose ends with people so you don't leave with those hard feelings, right? The one thing I want to point out with the Five of Cups is uh, Pisces. Let me see if I can find the card before I close this reading out again. I wish I didn't. <laughs> oh, here we go. The thing with the Five of Cups is, right, this person, they had to get some closure with this old situation before they turn around and go into this new journey. And I feel like this is kind of essential for you guys. Um, so, yeah, Pisces, that is the cards that I have for you for this weekly general tarot reading. If you found any cards that resonate with you, let me know in the comments below which ones do and how. And as well, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Pisces. And also, also, I do all the weekly zodiac signs, including Pisces, more than just Pisces, right? Uh, so if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not into tarot cards at all, Pisces, share uh, your friends, share my video with your friend of their zodiac sign, and maybe they can find a message that resonates with them. Until next time, though, Pisces, I love you so much.